Hello YouTube, Dr. Carlo Oger, board certified emergency physician with ED Exit Video Pro, where if you give me just five minutes of your time, you'll learn things and you'll be sharper and more educated than most of the other doctors in pre-medical or medical healthcare workers that, that are out there. So, let's talk about a clinical case. We all like those clinical cases. What is the vignette? How did the patient present? The patient presented to the emergency department through triage with a cheek complaint of a swelling and tenderness over the forehead. He had been slowly growing over the last three days, slowly growing, without associated fevers, chills, nausea, vomit, diarrhea, just a big swollen lump in the forehead that was tender to touch, it was a little bit fluctuating, it could move a little bit, okay? Again, the patient looked clinically well, no fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, nothing like that, had no past medical history. When we asked about potential trauma, he admitted to a minor trauma to the forehead when he and his big dog headbutted right before the onset of symptoms. Patient went uh, to a room, was seen by a physician who ordered some basic blood work, a CBC, which showed a normal or slightly elevated white blood cell count, uh, normal electrolytes, normal blood sugar, normal kidney function, nothing there. The ER physician ordered a CT scan of the head to look at this swollen area. The CT scan of the head showed a two by three by three centimeter mass in the forehead that had uh, peripherally enhancing consistent with abscess. Not only that, but the abscess extended into the anterior and posterior frontal wall erosion with is consistent with osteomyelitis and pan sinusitis. The patient had a sinus infection of bilateral, and then they had osteomyelitis, which is bone infection, and then this thing coming out through, which is abscess. Abscess is infection, it's a boil, it's pus present in there. So, what is the diagnosis? Pot, puffy tumor, PPT, puffs, potty tumor. And why am I wearing my pick monic shirt? Well, not only do you get a discount wearing, I'm sorry, using the code below the whole year, 2017, if you use Dr. ERTV 2017 as a discount code, you'll get a better discount on pick money than anything else. But I'm going to use visual imagery to help you memorize POTS puffy tumor. It's very easy. Imagine a flower pot and somebody was mad at this person, so he hit it on the forehead, hit him so hard that it swelled up. A swelling on the forehead caused by POTS puffy tumor. Now, if you can see that image, if you can see the pain of that person getting hit with the flower pot, you will remember this forever. POTS, POTS tumor, because it's a growth. So POTS puffy tumor. Now POTS puffy tumor was described in 1760, the year 1760, by Sir Percival, Pot, and that's why he got his name on it, Pot's puffy tumor. It is a complication of bacterial sinusitis. That makes sense. So the patient had some minor trauma to the forehead, maybe caused a little crack of the sinus, and then the infection was able to get out and grow into the forehead. And it causes osteomyelitis, which is bone infection, and superperiosteal abscess, that abscess of infection right beneath the bone. And this can lead to a whole bunch of complications. I'm going to read them for you. Epidural abscess, subdural empyema, brain abscess, so the infection can travel into the brain, can create cortical vein thrombosis, meningitis, sagittal sinus thrombosis, cerebral edema, and ultimately death. Those are the potential complications of POTS, puffy tumor. So just imagine all the potential complications of an infection close to your brain, getting in there. So brain abscess, meningitis, uh, cavernous sinus thrombosis, sagittal sinus thrombosis, etc. So what was the treatment of this patient? Well, the patient had a local IND, just like the ones I've shown on my channel all the time. They numb him, they open up and drain whatever infection was there, but that wasn't enough. He was taken to the operating room for a washout and clean out of the sinuses. They actually drilled some holes into the sinuses. They got water in there, washed it all out, and then um, remove the infection. Patient was starting IV antibiotics, but IV antibiotics against what? What kind of bacteria? Well, you want to include the regular bacteria that cause uh, sinusitis and anaerobes. You want to cover for anaerobes. Uh, so the patient had ampicillin sulbactam IV for treatment of this POTS tumor. Uh, 
So uh, in this particular case, patient recovered well and he was seen by something else for something else in the ER uh, months and months later and he was completely recovered. So picmonic, remember the picture imagery of the pot hitting the forehead causing a pot's tumor, pot's puffy tumor. And if you can remember that, then you'll remember this and you'll look really smart when somebody shows up with a swollen lump on the forehead and you're like, I think that's pot's puffy tumor. And you'll be like, so very smart. So hey, thank you for joining me on this video. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my Facebook page, Dr. ERTV, to comment, share, like, and let's keep this coming. Bye-bye.